black. A search in four parts. One. Imagine being so deeply asleep that everything around you in your dreamless world is utterly, totally without light. In darkness like this, far darker than any possible night, your eyes crack as they seek what can't be seen. True black is the blackness of nothing. 2. We say that black is what we see when the light goes out. But black isn't a colour. It's nothingness, so absolute, that everything, absolutely everything, ceases to exist except sound, taste, touch, smell and fear. Black has none of these. No existence other than blackness, other than nothingness. That's what black is. Except that it isn't, because it doesn't exist. Black, therefore, isn't even an it. 3. Black isn't something that is. It just isn't. Black is the lack, the absence, the total non-existence of anything and everything. Black came before, and black will come after. This means that we're all living in the hinterland. Here today, gone tomorrow. Into nothingness. Into black. 4. Being such a heavy, immovable, somnambulant word, black simply names the unseen place where nothing has stirred. A locked door through which no one has ever heard even the tiniest, quietest, faintest whispered word. A space without echoes, something so hollow that sound dies stillborn, strangled before birth. It's a cell without windows, below the deepest dungeon, where the torturer is yourself. Say, hello, to black. But if there's nothing there, there's nothing to answer back.